Okay, so um, these are the way the tiles, well, the tiles come with the inserts in them, like this. And these are the old tiles over here. So basically I've just been modifying them. A couple of people complained that they weren't loud enough. Um, so I wanted to see what was going on. So when I first got the new buttons, I put them in here and you can hear the volume. No. The volume is actually pretty good in comparison to what it was with even the modified um, with learning resource buttons. Um, these, this is a modified one. So you can hear it's pretty loud, but it's a little muffled. Uh, the clarity is much better on the Fluent Pet ones. And the volume is actually better too um, when they're both in the mats. Um, but then when we got the new mats, um, I kind of agree. I see what people are saying. It is a little bit more muffled. The only thing I could think of is that the materials are a little bit different. This is like a, almost like a press board on, on the bottom. Um, and these are uh, matted so that they stick better on the ground. Uh, these also came with these little um, inserts to hold up the boards. So this way they would um, they would actually be able to uh, like let some sound in. So instead, uh, I was thinking that that might be part of it. So what we did was we actually uh, decided to risk uh, destroying our tiles and we drilled some holes in them and bought a grommet set from Amazon and put these little grommets in them so that sound can escape. And also put these little risers on them, kind of like the Fluent Pet ones, the original ones, the beta tiles had. So, um, so these are the new tiles that are modified. Uh, and just to give you an example in the sound quality, this is just, um, a regular tile with nothing done to it. It's got no risers, it's just as it is. Inside. And you can kind of hear the sound quality deteriorated a little bit from the other ones. Inside. This is with a riser. Rain. Not much different than this. And then this is with the riser and the hole cut out. I'm a big fan of the Fluent Pet buttons over the learning resource ones for several reasons. Um, I like, first of all, they come with batteries, so that saves a lot of money. Uh, they are slightly cheaper and they're easier to press and they take up less, they take up less space. So Bastion can actually nose boop them pretty easily and um, I found that he hits them um, with better accuracy. Sometimes he would tap the buttons and then look at me as if I heard him and I'd have to go back and rewatch the camera to see what he said. Uh, now that doesn't really happen. He just hits it and I can actually hear it. He actually hit um, Hungry this afternoon and I was all the way downstairs and I was able to clearly tell what he said. So, so yeah, this is, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and destroy another tile for all of you. Um, just taking a regular tile. I'm gonna move a couple of these guys out of the way. And drill bit with, I believe this is my three six, my uh, three eighths bit piece. It's not too clean, but it's not that bad either. After all the holes are in it, just go ahead and pop the grommets in. So I pop them in from this side. These are half inch grommets and I used a uh, was it the three eighths bit? So it's just a little bit smaller the bit, which is good for a nice tight fit. And once that side's in there, put the other side of the grommet on. This is just like a little jewelry metal plate, but you could use anything. You could use a, a brick, I'm sure it would be fine. the grommet on there. This is part of the kit. And the grommet punch and a hammer. And you got your grommet on there. So it's pretty straightforward. Um, 
The holes are a little messy, but that's okay because once the grommet's on, it kind of covers it a little. Um, this definitely voids your flu and pet warranty. I hope that Leo doesn't kill me. But uh, yeah, just be careful. Make sure you've you've practiced putting maybe grommets on like a t-shirt or a washcloth or something that you don't care about. And then you can go from there. So again, this is a 3 8th uh, bit, which is why it's a little bit harder to get in. And get that guy on there. And there's another one. Um, the other thing you want to do is put these little guys. They make them in black. They make them in clear. This just, I thought I ordered clear, but it doesn't really matter. This actually matches better, so I'm happy that the black ones came. They're like little risers. They um, they hold the buttons in place. So uh, they, I actually found that this helped bash and not move them around so much. Um, I have only used one earlier but that just that one not connected to anything, it did move around a little bit. So now I don't have to worry about um, them moving around at all. So, yep. Um, this method has really kind of improved the sound for us. Um, I'm hopeful that it'll help other people too.